The type of treatment that one receives in second line does depend on whether the disease is refractory to initial chemotherapy or sensitive to ke initial chemotherapy. Um, once again, to define um, each of those, patients with refractory disease are those um, whose relapse has occurred, either relapse or progression has occurred while they're getting first line chemotherapy or within uh, 60 days of completing their last cycle. Uh, some studies have used up to 90 days. Uh, for patients with sensitive disease, they, uh, as the term implies, uh, have had a good response to initial chemotherapy, have maintained um, that response for uh, 60 to 90 days post-completion of their last cycle. The terms uh, refractory and sensitive will help us uh, determine, again, what types of treatment to give and whether or not patients, um, how effective that treatment will be for them. Um, in general, patients with refractory disease um, are less likely to benefit from other treatments, but we will try. And patients who have um, sensitive disease um, usually can benefit from additional chemotherapy. It also um, tells us uh, that one is more aggressive than the other. For patients with sensitive relapse, the time frame is very important. If patients recur after six months of receiving their last cycle of atopicide and platinum, they can then uh, receive more atopicide and platinum. Um, if not, the other options include uh, topotecan and CAV. Now, there was one study that compared, phase three study, that compared topotecan and CAV and found that they were about equal. And topotecan actually had a better side effect profile, and so it was FDA approved. And it's actually the only agent that's FDA approved in the second line setting for small cell lung cancer. Um, additional studies then showed that both patients with sensitive and refractory small cell lung cancer can benefit from topotecan, and therefore even patients with refractory disease can get this agent. Uh, we also like to use CAV um, because it is an effective um, chemotherapy uh, regimen. CAV is cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, and vincristine. And um, in patients, especially if we need, if we feel that they need a, a quick response, this generally elicits that. The other option for patients with refractory disease is to receive best supportive care. Now, in either of these types of relapse, um, another very, very important option um, is a clinical trial. And the last two to three years has seen a flurry in clinical trials in small cell lung cancer, which is extremely exciting and was very much needed, and hopefully we will come across new agents for this disease. It is imperative that if patients are in good shape after their disease recurs, that they seek a clinical trial. It may benefit them, and it will hopefully benefit our knowledge of the disease and uh, the treatment of future patients with the disease.